Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So do you remember those paperclip butterflies I made in a previous video? If you've not seen it, go back and have a look. It's quite a simple technique and very effective. So here's what I did with them. So as you can see, that's a lovely vase uh, with probably an oversized rose in the top of it, but never mind. <laughs> it was the only one I could find at the moment. So let's show you how we did it. So this is a mould I got from eBay. Um, I'm looking at it confused now because I could not figure out for the life of me how you were supposed to stand your flowers into it because of the way it was moulded at the back and I didn't realise that you're actually supposed to get a test tube type thing to put in the back of it once it's completed and it just sits there with your flower in it. I didn't realise that and I've had to do a bit of research on it. So I'm going to be using the Aquacast today. I do enjoy using this. And as I've previously said before, um, I don't have any scales or anything like that. So I just judge it by eye, really. So I use um, little measuring cups just to uh, make it a consistency, like a, a, a thicker custard consistency I use. Um, so I'm just putting in the powder first. So I put the powder into a mixing bowl so I'm using this orange uh, measuring cup and I think I did two and a half, maybe three um, of those to one and a half of water. Um, but like I say, I just mix it to a like thick custard cons consistency and that seems to work for me. Don't worry if it's a little bit watery um, because the when it's drying, the water does actually settle at the top. <coughs> Excuse me. So it does settle at the top and then I just soak it up if it's too watery, but it does work, it's great. So just make sure you mix it thoroughly. I actually have a silicone whisk. I got it from the pound shop and that's what I use to mix the Aquacast. So yeah, guys, I basically just go along adding water and adding powder if I need to, just to make sure that it's, uh, like I say, like that custardy consistency. And then when I'm happy with it, I pour it into the mould. So I poured it into the mould and as usual, I didn't make enough. <laughs> so I go ahead and I mix a little bit more to put over the top. So once I'm happy that it's filled, um, you can let it set, it takes about 30 minutes. Now I did actually leave this overnight because I was doing some other projects. Um, I got involved with the uh, the frog and the French Bulldogs at the, just after this. So um, yeah, I did leave it overnight. May have been a bit of a mistake on my part because the actual resin did leak down the sides a little bit. <clears throat> but it came out fine and I didn't mind that. So don't forget to give it a good shake and a good pat down just to get rid of any air bubbles. So it is the day after, like I say, and uh, I'm just getting ready to mix some resin. So I do tend to mark the side of the cups with how much resin I want to go in. It's a one-to-one -one resin from Ink Labs that I use. 
Um, so I did 50 mils of A and 50 mils of B. So I gave the resin a good mix for a couple of minutes and then um, I just let it stand for a couple of minutes more, just hoping that it would release the herbal wools. And then I poured it over the aqua cast. Um, I didn't use it all, I just used part of it. Um, I probably left a third of it in the actual container. And then I just popped in the butterflies where I thought I wanted them. I did go round the sides with um, a tool just to get rid of any bubbles that may have been round the side and then I did go over it slightly with a torch, well with a, a lighter, a long neck lighter just to pop, pop any bubbles that were on the surface. So once I got the butterflies positioned where I wanted them, I just went over with the remaining resin. Now I did um, have to push some parts of the butterflies down just to make sure that they didn't pop through the resin, but it's quite a simple task, just popping um, the wire down, making sure that they're in position correctly. And then obviously I'm gonna leave that overnight um, just to set properly just to cure properly make sure that the resin is all set so after i'd finished fiddling <laughs> and i let them set overnight it was then time to demold now as usual guys i've lost the footage of the demold i'm not sure if i just keep forgetting to press the the start button on my phone to record i'm not sure um, but yeah, I did I did miss out on the uh, the demolding video, but it quite easily popped out, and you'll be able to see following this um, what it looks like. Again, I'm just going round, just make sure making sure that everything's under the surface of the resin. So what do you think, guys? I think it looks rather pretty. There are some bubbles in there, but I don't mind them. But it is really, really nice. So if you've liked this video, please do like, comment and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.